Yo. Ew. Is this a Yakagami? Could be. No, it ain't. No, it's not. No way. No big way. four. No way. We've definitely done it before. You think, you think so? Yeah, the four of us yeah, definitely Brandon have. said the big four last time. Oh, did I? That you makes said sense. that last time? I doubt it. I don't think I've ever said we the big a, four. We need a yak historian. There, 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 yeah. There's thousands of one you. Year, oh, but I need one guy. One year they did like a breakdown of who was on every episode or something somewhere. Uh, like who did wh- which episode with who. Isn't John Rich a potential yak historian? Yeah, I want someone who's like a keeper of all yak oh. items. I bet within 10 minutes. What? Connor. Oh, Connor has all of it? Yes. Wait, my headphones suck. Yeah, something's You're, wrong with with all of them. Or, or mine you too. guys hear? Mine's are real good. Mine's are very it. low. Mine sound good. very crispy. Mine are going in and out. Mine are super low. Mine are so good. Mine are the best my headphones have ever heard. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> really? You got all that? I heard every every vowel. Ah! I heard every vowel. It's coming through all the I vowels. Make that noise. That's it hurt my noise. throat a lot. I shouldn't do that. Nice spider, spider. Uh, the piss, pussy patrol is back out tonight. Oh no! First time. It's like uh, when U two does a comeback tour. The pussy patrol is ha- is having a comeback tonight. Where are they going? The Seton Hall. No, Villanova St. John's game at MSG. Oh, the pussy patrol is going to that. Fordham's not even playing. Though. Yeah, but Fordham's ex coach Kyle Neptune will be uh, coach. Is Seraphim going? Their yeah, boy. For people who don't know the pussy patrol, it's Spider. Jack Mac and Tommy, and like a couple other unnamed, yeah, unnamed pussy hounds. Yeah, yeah. dude, how about Chef Donnie? Jack Just Mac and Steve Tommy Boy. Smokes are literally the Pussy Patrol now yeah. on TikTok. Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm oh, always Jack seeing them. Their their comments are f- yeah. packed with girls. Yeah, Jack Max, Jack oh, Mac on TikTok Jack is Mac especially. It's all up in Pussy TikTok. Really? All right, Connor just texted me. He said he's been building a database. Don't worry. Oh, no. That's unreal. Going through it's the crazy. archives. Connor's the best. I was a little mean beast. to Connor the other night. Why? What'd you do? I asked him what year he was the Penn State, oh, Wisconsin. Yeah, I was like, yeah, hey, yeah. Connor, what year were you born? He's like, 1999. Text. And I was like, cool. So uh, Penn State hasn't won in Madison uh, since four years before you were born. That's a long time. That's super fucked up. I don't think say. that's mean. That's fair play. Penn State basketball is a calling card. Yeah, it always feels like you're punching down when you make fun of Yeah, you are, basketball. even though they should be like a top. Yeah. It is unlimited. weird that Penn State has just never, ever, ever been even hardly decent at basketball. Yeah. Wrestling state. It's a wrestling, it's a wrestling, wrestling state. All the, all the football. basketball They're players. They're not a Men's basketball sports. state. Yeah. yeah, but there's a lot of not basketball states that have good basketball. It's the least state basketball. State college, state. if you go there, you just it doesn't include basketball. Alabama's not a basketball state at all. they got a top ten team. Not even close to a basketball state. What's the, le- what's the least basketball state? Because shit like well, what's Kansas, the whitest state? Can- Wyoming? No, no, because no, Kansas, Indiana, those are basketball. Yeah, states. Kentucky. Kentucky is the, those Kentucky are very Indiana. Hard. Are the t- Kentucky, Indiana, yeah. and North Carolina are the top three basketball. I think states. like the rural places, they can only field a basketball team. Right. And ha- yeah, remember having to like plug that shit in every day. That lockdown shit was crazy. The first two weeks were fun. It was just crazy, but it was crazy. If, it was we would, crazy. if we scheduled like a, a week a year to lockdown, I, yeah, would, no, I, I would be, be on board in. for that. I'd be so in. If they're like, if like Netflix was like, hey, we got 15 new documentaries, everyone stay home for this week. Like national national lockdown week would be would be fun. Awesome. But you can't go on we vacation. We knew it was coming. No vacation. Yeah, you can't go on a plane. You have to go to your house. Yeah, right. you have to go home for a week. It'd be a good reset. Right? Grocery stores be crazy the week before, though. It also would make you... Realize how nice it is to be able to like, go outside and talk to people and be around people. I, when I drove to your apartment that day, the first time I did it, and I got to drive around New York and empty New York, that shit was crazy. Oh, That's dude, awesome. it used to take me, when we started coming back into the studio, Ron and I would drive in, it used to take us like 14 minutes. Yeah. It was insane. Empty New York was It was just like, best. we would just fucking I didn't like it. Everything. Uh, I, I like New York for the grandiosity and oh, intimidation no, factor of it. You oh, you were ogling women. Oh yeah, no. The, it was the first time I started liking yeah, New York was because I've always thought New York is a very cool city, but it's like a hundred and fifty percent capacity. Dude, one of the crazy things that I wish I took pictures or video of was when everybody was graffitiing the fuck out of the city and like the whole city hall area in Lower Manhattan. Yeah, was just like head to toe completely graffiti. Like two weeks later, every bit of it was cleaned off. I don't know how they got it all off. But uh, it just looked so crazy. It looked like warriors. It yeah. Was like some apocalyptic shit. Yeah, there was, like, boards up on a lot of places and Businesses shit. and, and like, courthouses and shit. 
People were people were going ham, dude. Yeah. Where did all them? Where did all they them go? You, how many people to work. going going <laughs> yeah. off of KB's uh, trivia questions? How many people do you think are still in semi lockdown in New York City? Oh, they don't go. They yeah. they still they still will only see their friends in like a public park. They'll wear more masks. than you think. Oh my god! Think Probably in the hundred thousand yeah. range. More blind people or people in lockdown. I also looked up this when I was doing this. How many Muslims? This this said live and work. Eight hundred and seventy-two thousand. Oh, it can't be that many. <laughs> wow, close. Nine hundred thousand. Really? Wow. Was really? Seventy-two yeah. finally paid off. Yeah, it did. Finally got it. Really. Can we see the Mincy videos? Oh, my God. So, which one? I don't know which one you're so first. Start with the one he copied you. So, yeah. An hour later, just... You teased that yesterday. It's almost verbatim. Spencer Sanders, four-year starter for Oklahoma State. Very good quarterback, committed to Ole Miss. He uh, rearranged the words, which is like... quarterback from LSU, Walker Howard. Perfect play driving. Yesterday, Ole Miss had a five-star quarterback, Walker Howard from LSU. <laughs> Today, star, four-year starter... Oklahoma State's Spencer Sanders headed to Ole Miss. Lane Kiffin's the king of the transfer portal. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to go get players. Lane Kiffin continues to be the king of the transfer portal. <laughs> oh, no. Like the NIL is doing its job. The funniest part of all this is that sanctimonious fake preacher down in Auburn who thought Spencer Sanders could have been his starting quarterback this year. Hugh Freeze was after Spencer Sanders and didn't get him. I think the best part about this is beating out <laughs> Auburn and Hugh Freeze. That makes it even sweeter. Spencer Sanders, four-year starter. That's perfect. Uh, did, oh, so now I'm thinking he did it on purpose. I don't think no, he I don't, did. I don't think Mincy's ever done anything. Yeah, like Mincy that. doesn't live his life on purpose. Yeah, there's never been a purposeful yeah. th action by Ben Mintz. I'm kind That's of what on makes his side, though. In, I mean, well, not on his side because this isn't his side, but that wasn't that like unique of a video. No, no, it wasn't. The... It wasn't. And I also kind of snuck in. It was his team. I kind of snuck in right. and, and cucked him a little bit. But it was still funny. It was uh, the structure of it was the exact same. Yeah, yeah. But this video this morning is is Let's see it. I haven't crazier. seen this. I don't know. So this is Mincy grinding at four thirty. Four thirty this morning at sunrise. Su sunrise, Texas. Yeah, four thirty. <laughs> Sup, fellas? Beautiful morning here in Sea Drift, Texas. <laughs> At the Bay Flats Hunting Lodge, I'm out here for the Coastal Cup. I want to thank Blue Delta Jeans for having me. And uh, just gorgeous day to hunt some ducks. I'm with the second place team for last year that, that wants some vengeance. I'm all painted up up here early. I can't say I've been out duck hunting since I was a kid. Great experience. And uh, we're going to get in some trouble today. And uh, looking forward to it. So a beautiful morning now, to be out here in what? South Texas. All right. That seems okay, so he, bored. So he, uh, he, he tweeted this at 437 in the morning. I believe the sunrise, uh, the sunrise in Texas today was about seven. <laughs> oh no! Sea Drift, Texas. If you were in Sea Drift, Texas, on that body of water, the only way you can get a view of that body of water is to look to the west. It's the only way it happens. Oh, so he That's was Sea Drift, Texas. So that was last night, and he scheduled this morning. No, I, I, I don't think he scheduled it. I think even better. I think he set an alarm, woke up, yeah, four thirty-seven, and and tweeted it out. But why? What was his motive? I don't Grind. know. Seemed like he's he still grinding. Did this? He did it, like but he, he said this, this is a beautiful morning. Why would he? You, why would he do that? Yeah, like you, that. He didn't record that funny. in the morning. It's, it is, see now if Mincy would lean into it, he'd just be like, he his record. next video should be like the middle of the day and be like, it's it's one in the morning, grinding. Pre-record everything. Yeah. Oh my God, that's hilarious and nefarious. That's yeah. a little sneaky by him. Now I don't want Mincy to get hurt because I do genuinely love Mincy deep down, even though he's an odd duck. But it would be funny if he got like shotgun blasted in the ass. <laughs> With the buck shot. I didn't, buck shot. Shot. Oh, yeah. shot. I didn't know where you were going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Scatter shot. Oh, you my, shot. you got me. My ass. In the, in the oh, my ass. ass, fellas. Imagine the noises he'd make. Yeah. We get like a Dick Cheney type story coming out of Sea Drift. Moves that just like him, like skipping and holding. Oh. Ass. Speed demon in. It's all right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because he has a, a tiny ass. So it'd have to be a good shot. Yeah. Yeah. Eagle eyed. <laughs> Let's see what a, what a weird bird the best he's the fucking best i'd be so pissed off if i was you brandon why because he could just do the shit that you do and just make it better by just I, doing it the word for word i feel like i feel like the pressure's gonna get cut ran, ran, ramped ramped up on who on him on mince dave just starts doing daily weekly reports 
He's Teflon. I, he was. Yeah, he's rubber stamped. The, the the what's this guy's name? Alex Stein. Alex Stein dude. took away his rubber stamp. Yeah, that's true. But I think that if he puts out any any fucking video any day, there'll be something good that we could find in it. Yeah, true. Mm. He is he he actually M- Mincy. If you're listening, to this you probably aren't. But I want you to know that your weekly report can include any time you're brought up on the act. Yes. Because you are fodder and you are like great yeah. conversation piece. He he does drive topics on this More show. More than I'm trying to think who else in the office can really move the needle like that. Very few. Frank. 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 That's Frank's it. video can we we gotta do a follow up that. Show that video. Cause you saw yesterday Rochelle Ryan, uh wonderful woman came in. She was doing out and about. She came on the yak. She's like, Where's Frank at? I need to get I need to talk to him. I DM'd him on Instagram and Twitter, and he never replied to me. We're in the same fantasy. This league. is a this is a this is a, 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 a prolific porn star that most men lust after. Well, I'd like to ask a question that we didn't ask her today. How are we just now found it, finding out that Frank and Rochelle Ryan were in the same fantasy league? It feels like we should have known that the yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah. Who whole else thing. was in it? I'm di- I'm dying. In it. Is it all porn stars? It's all oh, porn stars. Stooley, and Frank? It was Stooley's Clubhouse. So. His name's Neil, I think. He came came in the office. I think he ran it, and then um, I don't know who else was in it. But Frank talking like, like Lisa uh, Ann, or this is a woman that everyone's like, everyone has fantasized about. Like, she holds a lot of power over men, but not one Francis Fleming. Nope, not even a an uh, iota of power. Damn, I haven't seen this either. So I DM you on Twitter and Instagram because we faced off in fantasy. And I wanted to do something funny, like if you lost me, like you would have to hold up a funny fan sign and you didn't check your DM. Or maybe you did, I don't know. I I get so many DMs, so I... I Oh my goodness. He doesn't care about Michelle Ryan. Facts. Well, it's nice to meet you. I actually think I lost you that week. So like, Frank sure checks every DM. Yeah. The yeah. Super Cup went like, down. It's so went to the trash. Yeah. <laughs> I was mediocre all season. Yep. Okay. Are you going to answer your DMs now? Now that you know who I am? <laughs> I'll try. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Do you see the <laughs> finger? Yeah. See the finger? I'll, I'll try. Hey. Show that again. I'll try. Why don't you fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> I get this broad away from me. You know who I am? <laughs> I'll try. Okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frank played that perfectly. Oh, he did. No, he is a king. All right, so let's see it. Pretty easy. Okay, <laughs> this is Stephen Chase. All right, hold on. I wanna. I'm gonna read this for the podcast listeners. Also. He wrote it out like a nerd. I had high hopes. I want to take a picture. I want to take a picture and tweet it out for the listeners. Give me one second. Do you want me to read the first one? Uh, yeah, you could read it. Okay. Monday, game day. Bucks get humiliated on national stage, ending their long, disappointing season. Um, I had high hopes. It was a Bucks team that had disappointed me at almost every turn this season, but showing promise the last two quarters the starters had played. I rebought in, including rebet them to win the Super Bowl, hook, line, and sinker, only to have my dreams dash in a horrific 31 to 14 loss on Monday Night Football. Uh, can continue. There's one more sentence. Which changes voice? There's one more sentence that you. Ah. Uh, I got caught um, singing the BK jingle, which was incredible during that ass kicking. Happy. All right. So, so wait. What was the? What, let me see it again. Buccaneers get humiliated in the national stage and their long disappointing season. Okay, all right, that's a good no, picture. Not, yeah, but but read the last. Yeah, gets caught singing Burger King. Yeah, that was a tough. Why the change from I did this, I did this, and then gets caught? No, but I love. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Shown promise the last two quarters of starters play. That's all it took. Fourth quarter against the Panthers and then first quarter against the Falcons. Yeah, well, it's great. I turned it around for you. Yeah, I was, I was, I was in. Damn. Bought into the Brady magic. Okay. Monday night after game. Yeah, so I actually waited around the Hoboken house. I listened to all the press conferences live. Um, and, yeah, Brady was extremely gracious and thanked the Tampa media, for including me. Wait, let's read this word for word. So uh, talk, Monday night no, after. Wait, ho, ho, ho. Including you. Yeah. yeah. All right, Tom. All right, hold on, hold on. I'll read it, and then we'll ask questions off of every line if anyone has any. Monday night after game, Tom Brady addresses media and postgame presser. Tom Brady is gracious in defeat and ends his presser by thanking the media for coming him for – covering him the past three seasons. 
This immediately brings about speculation that he won't return to the Buccaneers. Brady is a free agent, good good thing to note, and cannot be tagged. Joe Buck and Troy Aikman do a hit on SportsCenter with SVP and seem extremely convinced Brady will play next year, but do not know where. I drive home from the Hoboken house with body full body chills and sleep in sweats. All COVID tests that night and next morning are negative. Wow. Okay. He thanked you. Yeah, he thanked all Buccaneers media for covering him. That's definitely You're Buccaneers me. media? Well, yeah. it says all – it says thanking the media for covering him. Okay. So not just the Tampa media, all media. Yeah, but I'm also Tampa media. If I go down, I'm credentialed. It's a fact. Okay. Can't spot a lie there. All right, next slide. What? Why are the okay. Tuesday? One day after loss. This is like, yeah. this is like the first forty-eight in a crime scene, like f- twenty-four hours after finding the body. The realization I have no more Buccaneers football for several months hits me. I am down bad, on and off, full body chills, lightheaded, lethargic, loss of appetite. I continue to pass COVID tests with flying colors. Take a nap from 9 to 10 a.m. Heroically goes into office despite symptoms to eat shit after Bucks loss. Goes on Pick Central, discusses game on the yak, leaves office directly after yak, goes home, takes two-hour nap, reports services that Buccaneers OC Byron Leffridge will be fired via pewter report. So you you took two naps. Yep. Your body had rejected the, the loss so hard. I'm just saying, I... If, if if I didn't have to come in and eat shit, I wouldn't have come in that day for right, sure. Right, because you were so tired. Yeah. Well, just worn down. Worn down from the season. Holy yep. fuck, look at that. Good okay. good producing, TJ. Next slide. Damn. It's completely overlaid. Wednesday, two days after loss. Steven, Steven's body and soul still on the mend. <laughs> <laughs> the picture? <laughs> what the fuck? I am still down bad. Had the poops all day. Still on and off chills. Still testing negative for COVID. Listen to a lot of sad music. I walk a lonely road. The only only one that I've ever ever known. known. Wait, what? Did you break that up? Yeah, you kind of screwed up the PowerPoint here. Not not to. Is that Boulevard of Broken Dreams? Yeah, you could have. Yeah, I didn't know how to get rid of the bullets. Or I, I, it didn't work formatting wise. It kept giving me bullets. How many times did you listen to this song? A bunch. (laughs) Give us a, a, a. 15. 15 times you listen to my shadow (laughs) (laughs) watch the 2020 on the idaho murders yeah i saw that too pretty good puts things into perspective huh yeah i learned about that guy we talked about brian coburn you gotta stop twice huh this is like yeah steven is like encino man he just came back to the real world bucks football is not everything anymore uh look into the 19th pick of the nfl draft possibilities what'd you find there any historic 19th picks that did really well? Oh, I'm sure there are a ton. But, um, yeah, like what what's available this year, like quarterback, that's obviously the, the big issue. I feel like the roster is good enough where we could, you know. We're doing it again. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. yeah. What determined what got put in red and what didn't? Me. I understand. The data. The data. So <laughs> give us some names that you saw and you were like, ooh, this could be interesting. Well, you look at, you know, if Tom Brady doesn't come back, you know. He's not he, he's not coming back. Tampa. Yep. Sure. <laughs> so, Arvin, uh, what? Steve, Steven. <laughs> Arvin Harrison. Nineteenth overall pick. Yeah. Nineteenth overall pick. I don't think I want to receive. I mean, I'm saying. I'm saying. Oh, he's saying, saying Marvin Harrison. Not, oh, oh. He's saying Marvin oh, Harrison. Has has been. Oh, I see. Marvin I see. Nineteenth okay, overall yeah, pick. Yeah, Marty, Nineteenth overall pick. Mm-hmm. There's value to be had yeah. at nineteen. Sure. What? Yeah. Steven. If we stay there. Sean Alexander. Steven, I need you to look me in the eyes right now. Yeah. Tom Brady's not coming back to the Bucks. See, here's the thing. Oh, no. Well, no, no, no. I'm not even convinced, like, okay, if he comes back, is that, like, necessarily good? Like, maybe. Oh, he's going to turn on Tom Brady. Oh. No, I'm not turning on Tom Brady. It's just, like, what's the right thing for the franchise, like, long term? Like, It's a rebuild. I, I think know, that, we're, okay. We're, well, we, we get to some of that L- stuff. Listening the, to you, how like, you're talking right now, I think you would be ecstatic for Tom Brady to come back. Minus the fact that he's not coming back to the Bucks. Where is he? You're gonna say the Jets? Where Where is he gonna no, go? Raiders? Play? Anywhere? Niners? Titans? Titans? Raiders? Like I think he would go to a ready mill. So like I think he would absolutely go to San Francisco if they would have him. But would they? I don't know. Uh, yeah. So you are 
this grieving process is still going on. I don't. Well, let, let, let's go on and we can discuss this at the end. But okay. that, that's that's discussed. Okay. All right. So let's finish this slide. Uh, 19th overall. Do, what, you have any names? Because you did the research. Yeah. I mean, is is do we totally? And I touch on this in a later slide. Do we really like? completely pivot and we're one of the worst team, rushing teams in the nfl is like anthony richardson a possibility or something like that like what do we do oh. they, it's all about what we're doing at quarterback will levis probably out of the range like richardson with a first round pick okay. you know acl injury you know. all right so this is uh byron leftwich still not officially canned rumors surface that the patriots want to interview bill o'brien to be their offensive coordinator do the pats want brady back okay oh well he's thinking all these things he's going visualize Stephen Che in his Currently non-flooded house. Mm -hmm. uh, looking AirPods at, in. Looking at the 19th pick of well, the NFL draft, listening to Boulevards yes. of Broken Dreams. Constantly. What a sad, what a sad sight. Okay. Is that your only sad song? Do you have any more? Did, were there any more in there? No, that was the one I related to the best because the of that opening. <laughs> related to. <you. laughs> Would this have been the road. same situation if they won their first game and then lost? It depends on like how they lost. Like they lost in such a like this is over way. Like yeah, it was finality up to it. All right, Wednesday, two days after loss, we're still in Wednesday. Ste oh no, Thursday, three days after loss. Steven's starting to get right. Sights set on twenty twenty three. Feeling a bit better, more of a precautionary day and very busy day. Byron left, which is officially fired as offensive coordinator. Potential replacements: Bill O'Brien, Todd Munkin, Frank Reich, Kevin Petula comprehensive article comes out on the financial ramifications of Tom Brady's decision and what it will mean to the Bucks if he retires or signs with another team it's 35.1 million of dead cap in 23 23 for the Bucks if he resigns uh, with the Bucks can add on additional void years and make a cap charge of 17.7 million in 2023 but will kick dead money down the road for more than future years okay so you're really trying to assess the whole situation yeah you need a full picture full pictures being set I like how you went from Bill O'Brien being interviewed to the Pats to mm -hmm. Bill O'Brien to the Bucks. Well, he's one of the names that was, and I told you a couple weeks ago, that would be a name to watch. Do you like the name Bill O'Brien for that position? Love. Oh, okay. so you want Tom Brady back. Uh, he's the best guy for the position. That would certainly open the door for that. Regardless of quarterback, though, you yes. like him. Okay. Yes. What about Trask, though? Does he fit with Trask? Ooh. Uh, yes, I think so. I hope. Got to be a little more. Drafting Richardson to having Trask kind of. He's just doing all the Florida court. Yeah, over Florida. So now, all the championships run. they've won, you got to start scooping up their talent. <laughs> I addressed this on the next slide. <laughs> okay. Gee, Stevie, you do so much homework. Yeah. He does so Stay much doing work. homework. Yeah. He's the busiest motherfucker. You, you might as well get your like PhD or master's in something. This is homework. I like and doing this You did this it well. Stuff. Thank yeah. you. I like doing this stuff. It's the. Yeah, I don't like. I'm not like, interested talking about in like it. economics and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, Thursday, three days after loss, what is Plan A, Plan B, Plan C? Is Tom Brady coming back the best option? Other free agent QBs: Daniel Jones, Lamar Jackson, Geno Smith, Sam Darnold, Jimmy G, Jacoby Brissett, Baker Mayfield, Mike White, Taylor. Okay, so other than the first two, maybe Geno. That's bad. This has kind of yep. turned away from what Stephen did the last few days, and now it's just a full report on the Bucks and everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're yeah. asking what my thoughts were. These are my thoughts. <laughs> I did ask for his thoughts. I think Heineke could be like low key a good pickup for you guys. He's a winner. It's yeah. like Fitz Magic. Yeah, but who's I mean, who's really excited about that? Like from week to week basis, maybe we could be competitive, but is that draft what you Richardson want? sign Heineke? Maybe. Like we'll see. The name I'm hearing a lot is Jacoby Brissett, which is That's even more depressing. It's not a sexy name at all. Yeah. No. Oh no. Okay. How does Kyle Trask figure into the Bucks' future plans? He was drafted specifically for Leftwich's offense. Are they scraping that completely? Will Trask impact the search on the OC? Are we starting from scratch at QB? There's too much talent to tank. Ravens OC Greg Roman was fired. Bucks couldn't run the ball at all this year. Will they go in the opposite direction, go with Roman, who specializes in running the ball? If so, do they sell off wide receivers for future high draft picks? Would Anthony Richardson be a target in the draft for this style of offense? This is this. I would uh, I would like Connor Griffin to go back in the archives and to, just to see if this is the most we've ever talked about Kyle Trask. On yeah, the show. this is also a very just feels like a high water mark for Kyle Trask to talk on the show. This PowerPoint has proven how sad everything that's going on in your head is.